Hi, I'm Jamelyn Spears, and you are on the Red Towel with Nikki D TV. It's Nikki D hanging out here with the lovely Jamie Lynn Spears on the red towel during CMA Fest. Welcome to the red towel, Jamie Lynn. I love it. I've never seen this before. It's definitely a first. <laughs> I like it though. Well, first CMA Fest, yes, first fan club party. Girl! I know, I got a lot of firsts this week, but uh, I'm excited to be here. This is so fun just getting to have this intimate time and then play the bigger shows. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm having fun. And my little girls on the drums back. That's right. Your mom's here, your daughter's here, your husband's here. Yeah. Everybody's here. Yeah, we got the whole gang here. We're um I'm making a family fair, but I figured that's what's so cool about country music and especially CMA Fest in general. You come can kinda of make it like a whole family affair and it makes it more fun for me. It's a pizza party. <laughs> Did you come up with that idea? Well, normally whenever like they say we're gonna do a fan club party, so if I want it to feel comfortable, I don't want people to feel stuffy or anything, I'm like what makes people come together more than drinks and food? So let's get some let's get some drinks and food there. I mean, who would say no to that? <laughs> who says no to pizza? It reminds me of like being back in school. You know, you exactly. always waited for those pizza parties in class. Exactly. That was kind of you know I wanted a pizza party for my fans and uh, just you know it's the least I could do. Pizza's a safe food too. Everybody likes pizza. What's your favorite kind of pizza? I really like just you know traditional pepperoni. If I go crazy, I might want to put jalapenos on there. Oh, you know, if I'm in the mood. Yeah, getting crazy. <laughs> I like it. Well, you grew up in entertainment. You know, you're watching Britney kind of blow up into superstardom, and then Zoe 101, all that. Mm -hmm. So happy to have you in the country music world, girl. You are good. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. I mean, I think I did grow up in this business, so I kind of feel like, you know, it's kind of my normal. But at the same time, I was just a little kid when I did Zoe. I wasn't. You don't. No one knows what they want to do at 12 years old. So. When I was, you know, old enough to start making my own adult decisions and I started writing, it just just made sense for me to be a part of this. It yeah. just was, you know, it felt like home to me. And the new EP, The Journey, it's out. It's so is. awesome to have some new songs from you, girl. I know. I'm, I mean, I, I felt like I had to do this for my fans. They really, they've waited and been so patient and I didn't release anything for a while, so I had to do this for them. And hopefully a full length album will be coming out soon because when I play live, people are like, oh, why not on the EP? So, Definitely. but I had to give them something. Of course. And congratulations, recently married a couple months ago. How do you balance being out on the road, being married, and your daughter, Maddie? Maddie B, right? Yeah, I mean, we call her Maddie, Maddie B, whatever. If it's, she's got a, quite a few nicknames, but it's, you know, it's not, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but with enough planning and enough support, my support system as far as my mom, when she was there in school, I made it a rule that I would only go on three days at a time. I did a lot during three days, but I fit it all in so I could get back home. And my mom would just watch Maddie or my husband would watch Maddie. So that way her routine was always consistent. And I stuck with that being most important. But now that it's summertime, she gets to come on the road with me. Yeah. And it makes it a lot easier. But it's, it's hard. You always feel like you're not doing something good enough. But I'm really blessed to be able to do what I love to do. And I have a really supportive husband and a really great team around me. So that's what makes it possible. It's definitely not all me. And, um, you know, I, I feel like I'm blessed at the end of the day, so I can't complain. Yeah. Well, I like how Maddie helps you out with like the Q and A's yeah. and all that. And, you know, just kind of running around. She ever like dance to your songs, like on the side of the stage or something or? Yeah, she will. You know, it's weird if you ask her to do it, she's not going to do it. She gets shy <laughs> or like really yeah. uncomfortable. But when it's just us, they're yes. I mean, she's, She's not shy, except for when she's meeting new people. So she definitely, and I like making her a part of it. It's a, you know, it's kind of one of those things that I want to be able to do something that I can enjoy with my family. Does Maddie have a favorite song of yours? Um, I would have to say she likes How Could I Want More because she knows the words better to that. But she told me the other day, she's like, Mom, you need some new songs, Al. I'm tired of singing the same song. And I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe it's time to get the EP out. I love it. Thank you so much for letting Thank us you. come crash your fan club party. It was no, awesome. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. For the red towel. Oh, I loved it. Thanks for having me. <laughs> JamieLynnSpears.com. Make sure you check out the new EP, The Journey.